Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 28th through to October the 4th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Six of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Wands upright. And next, we have Major Arcana Temperance in the upright, followed then by the Five of Swords reversed. And next we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, so for your overall energy, Gemini, here we have the Six of Cups in the upright position. Well, the Six of Cups is the blast from the past card. Could be that you see a return of someone from the past. Um, it could be anything. Remember, I'm reading, it's just a general read. So I'm reading for thousands of Gemini, so if it resonates for you, you'll know it. If it doesn't, then it's not meant for you. Check your moon sign or your rising or or Venus. Um, with the, the Six of Cups energies, yes, it's definitely the blasphemy past card, but for some of you, this could be about meeting someone new. Maybe you're meeting someone who feels like someone from the past. Could be a past life connection. Could be somebody who just, I've met people in my lifetime where I felt like I know you, I've, I've met you before, but in reality you didn't. It's They just feel so familiar to you. Could be the case for some of you, for others of you. This is about connecting, maybe you're running into friends from the past. It could be a get together, even a family get together. Sometimes this card will come up when we're uh, hanging out with, you know, cousins perhaps, or extended family that we haven't seen in a long time. We're just sort of catching up with them and playing remember when it's fond memories of the past for others of you maybe you're just sort of remembering the past fondly maybe you're listening to uh, music from back in the day or watching movies or shows from back in the day and it's triggering some old memories um, others of you maybe this is a soulmate has returned the one that got away maybe somebody you dated or wanted to date back in high school is now free and so are you and you're ready to move in that direction at the beginning of the week we have the wounded warrior card here the nine of wands in the upright nine of wands is where we fought many battles many challenges on the same subject and here we are ready to fight another day if we should have to but we don't necessarily have to this is just a, a card representing preparedness being prepared it's like Perhaps for some of you, this was a relationship that you kept hitting the same block over and over again, that same situation where here we go again, you know, and it's, I know how this is going to end. Uh, for others of you, this is about a situation at work, maybe that just has just been, you know, again, it's the same old problem that you keep coming up with, with a boss, with a coworker, or with uh, just somebody clashing there, or it could be a project you're working on and you keep hitting that same stumbling block. But you're prepared in this particular situation. You are prepared to deal with it. Maybe some of you are even expecting it. Coming off the weekend, you're expecting this type of of a uh, type of situation to unfold. But like I said in the beginning, this doesn't necessarily play out. It's just representative of being prepared. And the next card we have is a beautiful card to follow the wounded warrior is the temperance. This is a Sagittarius energy in the upright position. Perhaps some of you could be dealing with Sag. Um, and temperance is all about cooperation and blending and, and mixing and having things work out well together. So for those of you who are dealing with, or maybe even some of you are putting together a uh, family reunion or a you know reunion of, of old friends getting together, it, it looks like it's gonna turn out well because this is all about mixing and blending. Even opposites at this point can get along. People, when you invite different types of people to an event, Sometimes you're not sure how they're going to get along, different types of personalities, and it ends up working really well. This is what I call my baker's card. Some of you could be baking this week, and if that's the case, it looks like it's going to turn out wonderful. <laughs> this is um, all about mixing and blending. Also, too, the temperance is healing energy. So some of you could be healing a situation from the past and uh, beautiful. It's just whatever is going on here, maybe some of you think there's going to be a problem because you have to, you know, get together with certain people from the past and you're not sure how that's going to go, but it turns out to be, turn out better than you expected. So that's always good. <laughs> 
And then moving on towards the weekend, we do have the Five of Swords reversed. Um, I think Aries got this in the same spot too. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries from the past. But this is about coming out of conflict. Now, maybe some of you were in conflict with a person or people. Maybe it could be people from the past. Um, could be a special person from the past, a soulmate, a special one that you didn't get along with or something happened there and now the conflict is being, is coming to an end. It makes sense, right? If, especially if there's an event. So you get together, everything goes smoothly and now they're, you know, the conflict's been put to rest because everyone's getting along, especially with the Six of Cups here in the upright, because that represents, you know, happy memories of the past or things going well from connections to the past. So this could be for some of you though, maybe this is, you were of two minds of a situation. Maybe you thought, well, I would like to do this, but then I'd like to do that. Then I'd like, you know, uh, I'm not sure what I want to do. This is in the upright position. This could be where we're battling because we're of two minds of something. Sometimes this can be the battle between the heart and the head. You know, it's like, oh, my heart wants to do this, but my head says, no, don't, don't you dare. Don't you be ridiculous. So it could be that that's coming to an end for others of you. This is definitely about conflict with other people. It's it's probably very strongly the case for some. Remember, it's not every single Gemini out there, but for some of you, perhaps there was a conflict that was connected to people or a person from the past and things are going a lot better than you expected. So you can now put that conflict to rest. This is the battle comes to an end with the Five of Swords in reverse. Now, the last card you have here is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. It is court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy. That of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. It could be that somebody is coming towards you, Gemini, with an offer. Now, if this is on the romantic front, this person is, is serious. Maybe they've taken their sweet time getting to you, uh, uh, Gemini. And that could definitely be the case because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the tarot deck. So this could be somebody you've been waiting to, you know, make you an offer for a long time. For others of you, this could be an offer of a job, an offer of an apartment if you're looking or a house. It could be an offer of finances um, coming your way. It could be a, an offer of real estate because all the things that the pentacles represent. If this is a romantic uh, interest, somebody making advances towards you, you know, that likes you and wants to be with you in a romantic way. This person may be an earth sign, but this person could just be a very serious person. The advances they're making towards you is they're looking for something stable. They don't want something light and airy and flighty. They want a very stable relationship. That could be what they're offering you. Others, if you if you have something up for sales, perhaps your home or a business or a vehicle or something, this could be an offer that comes in, a very solid offer that you could actually take to the bank. So um, yeah, looks like an interesting week for you. Uh, Gemini. I do hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.